the nameplate. Where's the nameplate on it? Right up on top oh, there. This is actually my first time seeing, uh, I mean, I'm definitely no stranger to the Philco Ford Noiseless series, but this is the first one I'm seeing that actually has a nightlight feature. Now this actually, this has a uh, little bulb on the bottom that lights up at night time so you can see the controls. Pretty nifty right, right down here. Yep, and it's pretty shines, nifty. Shines right through there. Oh, let's, oh yeah, how about it? And we did it. And then we worked out. All right. Yeah. It's uh, 115 volts. Oh, wow, 11.4 amps for a... Yeah. 1600 watts, Dan. And it's 8700 BTUs, model number 9AC1A. Alright. Alright, so you can do your thing, but Put the grill back on. This thing's just yeah. latching here. Yeah. That's I guess the thing. these focos are neat with their mm. mechanisms. Oh, yeah. That is really impressive. You don't see anything like this no more. All right, uh, it's your unit, bud. Do the honors. All right, so the, compressor is gonna, the compressor's going to be right here. Yep. So excuse the angle, we have like four people trying to record here. All right, we're going to record my Philco starting up. Here we go. Um, Who are you using to start up? <laughs> that bolt went down. Oh, that's your, okay. She's definitely on All right, let's see what we're getting on. So that's we're rolling 12 amps right now, 12.3 amps right now. Just about name plate reading. It's going up. Yeah, right, right at, right at. 1200 watts. Jesus, power. What compressor is this? The AU. Oh, it's a pancake. It's the pancake. That's freaking freezing, man. Wow. That works real good. That's fast. That, that took no time at all to build that pressure. I can definitely do a drain mod on this one. Absolutely. You want to do a, uh, you want to, we have enough lube, right? We can clean it too. Oh, I remember you saying you think it looks fine. You can't really see the uh, light, but it is on. It is. You can see it. The lights are, light's on down there. Can't get a good. I can pull this out a little bit. Oh, yeah, there you go. I can see it really good. That light's supposed to shine on here, and at night it'll illuminate. Yeah, it's not, like, it's not like a right. modern unit where it's like annoying, you know. No, that's that's cool. It's a nice warm incandescent. It's very soft. I think it's neon. It's quiet. Yep. It'll kick ass on high, but once you get it down to room temps, kick it on low, it'll kind of like disappear into the background. And so, before had really cool looking tiles, but they were shape. That's awesome. I love those buttons. Now another thing to note too, Philco before Ford got involved, all their control buttons were round. Once Ford got involved, they kind of squ they they were the squares. The non-Ford are a lot more rare for some reason, probably just for the sole purpose of being older. But something that worth noting. Now the back of these, this is a noiseless series, but it's a space saver, not the superpower. So the superpower and space saver series are mirror images of each other. The superpower is a little bit bigger, and the controls and your air discharge are reversed. And also, I don't know how good you can see I also spray painted it like a chrome color, so it shines real nice, like, in the day. I mean, you can also see the Philco logo is in pretty good shape yet. Yeah. And, then, and also, it's got these uh, three rows right here. You can see them, one, two, three rows for the air discharge on the, on the back side. On the, on the uh, Super Power, these are built into the grill. It's not just a mesh, it's not just a great behind the mesh. It's yeah, built in and it's on the opposite it's side. Like I said, watch. Yeah, and this one sucks in through the condenser and yep. pulls it out the side and in the front. Super power, both sides have side vents. On the Space Saver models, only the uh, opposite side, the nine compressor side has side vents on it. I'll take off the grill so if you want to get some paint. But yeah, but yeah, they're literally just simply mirror images of each other. And this cord is not, I don't think that cord is original. I might have to swap that out again because I don't really it, like it. It needs it's kind of it's kind of warm. That's actually your problem, dude. That's why you're. That's why it's not starting up. You have a 14 gauge uh, cord on a, a unit that should have a 12 gauge cord on it. Yeah, oh, yeah. This ain't original at all. I'll have to put a new one on. Yeah, get a uh, 12 gauge. Okay. I bet you that'll solve it's your startup right problem. It. And that's yeah. also why. Shit, maybe I should shut it off. That's also it why you're drawing so much yeah. amps too. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Have you shut her off? Yeah. Yeah. See if there's a kick. No kick. Yeah, it's at the limit. 
8700. Uh, yeah, 8700. Yeah, that problem definitely. Look at that's warm. Your that's coils warm. are dirtier yeah. than you think. Yeah, you definitely got the wrong cord on it. It's, yep, absolutely. Well, Would you agree with that? It should, should be big, okay, okay. should be bigger and thicker. See how soft it is. Yeah, it, it's that's actually oh, yeah. that's actually 16 gauge, isn't it? That might be 16 gauge. Yeah, you have to have a much thicker. Yeah, that might be 16 gauge. That might not even be 14. It's supposed to be 12. If that's drawn, if that's maxing out, that should be a 12 gauge cord. Yeah, that's where our problem is. I mean, not, you should be able to get away with a 14, but I would up it to a 12. It's like, it technically runs on a 15 amp circuit, so 14 gauge should be adequate, but it wouldn't hurt to put a larger conductor on it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching. Again, this is Christian. Yeah, literally, literally four amps above, above its weather wheel HVAC on YouTube.